Ukraine's top intelligence group says it destroyed another Russian missile ship. This time, it was the Ivanovitz in the highly contested Black Sea. Thermal video shows three naval drones approaching the Russian warship and exploding on impact. Minutes later, the Ivanovitz capsized and sank. According to intelligence sources, the ship was worth around $70 million. So far, Moscow has yet to respond to questions about the incident. Ukraine's been scoring some major victories in the Black Sea since the full war broke out. In 2022, using Neptune missiles, Ukraine took down the flagship of Russia's Black Sea fleet, the Moskva. Then, around Christmas last year, Ukrainian forces sank the Russian landing ship Novocherkask, which could carry 400 troops. Overall, Ukraine damaged or destroyed nearly 30 Russian warships and pulled all this off without having any warships of its own. Ukraine's Secretary of Security, Alexei Danilov, says, of course they would prefer a more favorable situation regarding the liberation of territories. However, parallel to these efforts, substantial events unfolded in the Black Sea, resulting in the loss of 20% of the Russian Federation's fleet. While Ukraine's armed forces are managing to take on a much larger naval fleet, they're still on the hunt to build up their own. Just this month, the British Royal Navy announced plans to decommission two warships. In response, Ukraine's naval commander told Sky News they would gladly take the ships, because remember, Ukraine's navy doesn't have any of its own. The sooner the armed forces have the necessary battle capabilities and certain capabilities to destroy the enemy infrastructure facilities, the sooner we will win. The UK has been a major ally to Ukraine, offering not just training but also advanced weaponry, like long-range missiles and tanks. The UK is even boosting Ukraine's naval capabilities already by sending over two Sandown-class mine hunters, 20 Viking amphibious vehicles, and 23 raiding craft. All this support comes as European Union leaders agreed to a three-year, $54 billion support package for Ukraine on Thursday. Payments could begin as soon as March.